Now, top trade negotiators from China and the United States have spoken over the phone. Chinese Vice Premier Liu He talked to U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai just hours ago, and they emphasized the importance of bilateral trade and said they would keep communication open. Meanwhile, Chinese embassy in the U.S. says China supports the idea of a comprehensive study into the early COVID cases worldwide. And it also says tracing the origin of the virus should not be politicized. The embassy issued a statement on Wednesday saying smear campaigns, shifting blame and the conspiracy theory of a lab leak are resurfacing. And the statement called them a tricks of political manipulation. The embassy said the investigation should be transparent and based on facts and science. It also called for international cooperation to, for a probe into secret bases and biological labs around the world. Well, the Chinese embassy's statement comes after the U.S. president ordered intelligence agencies to, once again, look into the origins of the virus. In a statement released by the White House, Joe Biden asked them to collect and analyze information that could bring the world closer to a definitive conclusion in 90 days. And the presidential order has reignited the debate over how and where the virus first emerged. And Facebook has moved to lift a ban on posts claiming the virus is man-made. And Biden asked for the same report in March, but no definitive conclusion was made. And for some insight into this, we're now joined by current affairs commentator Mr. Aina Tangan in Beijing. Aina, while well, the Chinese embassy said that some people have played the old trick of political hype uh, on the origin tracing of COVID-19, what do you make of such remarks? Well, Biden is obviously under pressure and he wants to do something, but this is merely kicking the can down the road. There's, this is a scientific inquiry. Um, intelligence gatherers can only gather information that is available. The information has already been looked at. They're not gonna come to any different conclusion 90 days from today because there's no new facts to rely on. So I think uh, it's appropriate that China has uh, responded to this by saying, look, as long as it's scientific, we're open to it. Right, but scientific research and the investigation has been done by WHO earlier in China and also a report ha has uh, come out from all that. Does this mean that that report has been discarded by the U.S.? Yeah, to a large extent, yes. I mean, uh, Fauci walking back uh, his statement uh, that he made earlier that this uh, was a crossover that uh, came through animals now saying, well, we should investigate everything. Uh, I think it was mostly his sensitivity to the fact that there were $600,000 uh, that were distributed through his department to the Wuhan laboratory to s study spike proteins, the way in which coronaviruses are able to attack cells. Mm. Um, you know, you have to do these studies, otherwise you are not prepared for what uh, happens thereafter. Mm. So at this time, I, he's, I think he's afraid of uh, somebody claiming that he's mm. trying to cover up his actions mm. and he's just thrown it open and say, sure, go ahead, take a look. But the fact is he knows mm. and everyone else knows that there are no uh, there are no scientific facts that aren't known. The WHO report still stands. Mm. The science is as definitive as you can be at this point without locating it. Mm. If you go back to H1N1 virus that started in the U.S., they right. still don't know where it's at. And that's been many years since. Mm. Right, and uh, as we just saw from a screen that CNN host Chris Cuomo said the political right in Washington has obsessed over the origins of the pandemic to forward an agenda. Do you agree with his comment? Yeah, I mean, this is all motivated by politics, uh, quite clearly. Uh, you know, Biden is looking towards the midterm elections to try to get the necessary support for his policies. He doesn't have it right now. Mm. And he wants to use every political trick in the book to make sure that he gets it. So, yes, uh, surprise, surprise, Washington is engaging in politics. Well, timing is uh, very crucial here as well. Why do you think Biden uh, is ordering this report now? Well, he's ordering it now because he wants to appear like he's doing something. I mean, he, he, he's uh, you know, very easily pressured. Uh, we've seen that on a number of issues. And 
rather than deal with this and say something definitive when they can't, he's decided to take a pause for 90 days and hope that something will come up in between. This is, remember, a, a largely bipartisan uh, issue. Everybody uh, wants to blame China for all the things that went wrong in the United States and elsewhere. So it's unfortunately not going to be any different 90 days from now, and it's just going to be a rehash of everything that was done. The one difference, though, is a lot of people who were engaged in this kind of uh, witch hunting under Donald Trump uh, have been pushed out of the picture. So you might get something that's a little bit more balanced. But still, 90 days from now, they're not going to pinpoint where the uh, code virus came from because they're not using science. They're just gathering existing information. And that's already available. Thank you very much, Aina Tangan, our current affairs commentator. Thank you very much for your insight. And in an exclusive interview, our reporter Feng Yilei sat down with the head of a key lab at the Wuhan Virology Institute. The researcher denied his lab had manufactured the virus. And the interview was conducted on, in April of last year when uh, accusations against the lab began to emerge. I can tell you for sure that none of our students, retirees or any of our staff has been infected. A group of staff members chose to stay in Wuhan during the lockdown, which guaranteed that our work was in full swing during the Chinese New Year break. I can hardly count how many teams there are right now, because now the whole institute is carrying out research in different areas related to the coronavirus. We have major teams in drug development, vaccine research, pathogenesis, and of course, some are trying to answer the basic questions, including the origin of the virus and its general characteristics, which is one of our strengths. Some work on the structure of the virus and the immune responses to it. We've devoted ourselves to the research of it since the outbreak began. Do any of the investigations show that the virus originated in Wuhan or from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? As people who carry out viral studies, we clearly know what kind of research is going on at the institute and how the institute manages viruses and samples. As we said early on, there's no way this virus came from us. We have a strict regulatory regimen, we have a code of conduct for research, so we are confident of that. It is reported that the virus leaked from the Wuhan Virology Institute caused the outbreak. What is your take on it? Why are there rumors? Because the Institute of Virology and P4 Laboratory are in Wuhan. People can't help but make associations, which I think is understandable. But it's bad when some are deliberately trying to mislead people. U.S. Senator Tom Cotton said earlier that the virus came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. The Washington Post and several other outlets wrote about this virus coming from the Wuhan lab. They have no evidence or knowledge. This is entirely based on speculation. Part of the purpose is to confuse people, to interfere with our anti-epidemic activities or even our scientific activities. They may have achieved their goal in some way, but as a scientist and a science and technology manager, I have been engaged in laboratory biosafety management and scientific research project management for a long time, and I know it's impossible. I also believe that as long as the pandemic continues, especially in other countries, such doubts and disharmony will not go away. There are also reports saying that the novel coronavirus is man-made. What do you think of it? Has anyone mastered such a technology in the world? In fact, there are many reports in academic journals. From my personal understanding of virology, there is no evidence to prove that the virus has artificial or synthetic origins. Besides, some scientists believe that to synthesize a virus requires extraordinary intelligence and workload. So I have never believed that we humans would have the capability at this time to create such a virus.